guys, so today I thought we would do a what's in my diaper bag slash organize my diaper bag with me video. So I am Elena, if you are new here, I'm a mommy of three boys. I have a five-year-old Calvin, a three-year-old Aaron, and a three-month-old baby Barrett. So tomorrow we're actually going on a little outing and I don't want to have a ton of crap in the bag, which is usually how the bag is. It's always super duper stuffed, super duper heavy, has way too many things. I am such an overpacker, but tomorrow we're going out for the day and I'm gonna have to carry this backpack around and probably wear Barrett as well. So I want to have like the least amount of stuff as possible. <laughs> so um, let's hop in, let me show you what's in there and then we will try to minimize it. <laughs> So let's start off with the outer pockets. I'm telling you guys, I'm an overpacker. I've got everything out here. So we have some bug spray because my parents live in the woods. Anytime we go over to visit, Aaron attracts bugs. <laughs> That's just, I don't know, bugs like particular um, uh, blood types, I guess. Aaron's got the one that bugs like. So we carry bug spray with us. I have sunglasses usually Cal will wear these purple ones two pairs I don't know why there's two of them um, a Walmart bag plastic Walmart bag just in case I forget wet bags it's always nice to have a Walmart bag on hand on the other side here we have sunscreen because it is summertime I try to remember to put the sunscreen on the boys anytime we are outside for a long period of time I also have some spray hand sanitizer because that's super easy to use with the kiddos it's just to spray it on their hands like we use this a lot you know during the pandemic and anything, every time we went to the store or anytime we went to like the playground or something, always spraying before and after. I actually have some, this is a poison oak and ivy remover, just in a little like, you know, dollar bin kind of bottle here because a few weeks ago Calvin was pulling up some random plants at my mom's house and I we were pretty sure that one of them was poison ivy so after that incident um my husband was like let's just keep this in the bag because we have it here at home so we put a little bit in in that little bottle just in case <laughs> and then these are little sunglasses that usually Aaron fits into on the outside, I do have one of these little reusable bags here. It flips out into a bag in case we happen to go to the store or something and I don't wanna use a bag. I can use that reusable bag and then it just like curls its way up into a little strawberry shape. Super adorable. Whatcha? I do have the 10th annual uh, flats and hand washing challenge little pin here. I have one of the buttons diapers, little uh, diaper doodad there. And then there's like a teething kind of thing for Barrett, which he's not even big enough to like be messing with this yet, but just put it on there just to have it when we're ready for it, I guess. <laughs> okay, so let's go into this little pocket down here instead of me trying to hold the bag up the whole time. So. I have a little hat for Barrett, very essential for the newborn days. Well, I guess technically he's not a newborn anymore. He's three months old, but um, when they don't have a lot of hair on their head and it's summertime, it's nice to have a little hat to protect them from getting sunburn on their little baby scalp. I have some masks, of course, because we all know what's been happening this past year. So I have four masks that my mom made for the boys. I have two, two Paw Patrol and Ninja Turtles and a little tractor one. Just random, just so they can fight over which one they want to use whenever we go to the pediatrician. That's pretty much the only place that we go, really, with all three of the kiddos. <laughs> I do have a little, like, activity book thing, and this is, like, a Hot Wheels booklet with some crayons and a little, another different, like, little board book in there for if we go to, you know, like, a restaurant or something, but I honestly can't even tell you the last time we took the children into a restaurant. <laughs> I have a Tide to Go pin because that's, you know, always handy as a mommy. I have a, a an adult size mask. This is a Batman one. Maybe, maybe it's for my husband. I don't think he's ever used it though. So that's that bottom pocket. Let's go into this top pocket, pocket here. I have snacks. I have some raisins. Usually I have some more snacks too. Yeah, I have a granola bar. Usually I keep like peanut butter crackers and stuff like that. Sunglasses for me. Some lip balm because I always, I am like a lip balm addict. If I do not have a chapstick with me, pretty much the end of the world. <laughs> a pen for grocery trips, I guess. But like I said, like 
this past year, I don't know why I have all this stuff in here because like we don't, I don't really take the boys to the grocery store. I like to go by myself or we just do like Walmart pickups and Target pickups and stuff like that. So I haven't been like in a store with the boys in like quite a while, like to actually do the grocery shopping. That's, that's another story though, I guess. There's a little hidden pocket inside of the front of the bag. I do have some panty liners just in case. I am three months postpartum, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm not gonna need these anytime soon, but they're in there just in case. I got a little thing of Kleenexes. Oh, I do have toothpaste and toothbrushes for the boys for when they stay the night at grandma's. It's already in here and ready to go. I do have some, these are um, antibacterial like wipes kind of deal. And that's it for that little pocket. So on to the main part of the bag. So this is where all of the junk is. There's tons and tons of stuff in here. This is my wallet. Important. This is the mommy side of things. I usually just take my wallet, put it in the bag, and then we're out to go. I do have a purse and I take it like when I go to like appointments on my own and stuff, but the wallet is the essential part, right? I do have a couple of wet bags. These are Bungies. And I just wanna let you know that these were sent by Bungies. They have been giving me the monthly subscription, including the wet bags for a couple of months now. Just FYI, just trying to be upfront and honest with you guys. This here is a new purchase that I haven't actually even used yet. This is the Baby Boo changing pad. And it's cool because it's waterproof, you know, like PUL or TPU, whatever they use on the one side. And first of all, this is like a camping themed one. Look how freaking adorable. If you can see, if you look where the campers are, they have like laundry, or I guess it's like upside down there. They have like laundry on the line. They have diapers on the line. How adorable is that? <laughs> So yeah, super cute. Anyway, so it has the waterproof on one side and then it has like a terry material on the other side. So like, it's nice and soft, it's nice and big. You know, if you ever get in a situation where you end up in a bathroom where there isn't actually a changing thing on the wall, which I have been in that situation at least once, you know? If you're ever in that situation, you at least have something big enough to lay baby down on the floor and not have them directly on the gross bathroom floor, right? So yeah, haven't used that yet, but I like it so far. And also like you could even use it as a blankie if you like really, really needed a blankie for some reason or to like lay into a car seat if like maybe you went swimming or something and like baby's all wet, you know, stuff like that. Toddler, probably not baby. Okay, now I have like so much clothes in here because I always keep extra outfits for both of the boys, for Calvin and Aaron, plus the baby, plus diapers for the baby. Um, like I said, my parents live in the woods. They have a pond. My sister has a pool. My parents have a hot tub where the boys like to swim. So they are always ruining their clothes when they go to hang out at grandma's house. So I always have extra clothes for everyone involved. Usually a couple of outfits, honestly. <laughs> okay, we got one shirt for Calvin. One shirt for Aaron, some underwear for Cal, underwear for Aaron, pants for Cal, underwear for Aaron, <laughs> uh, some like jammies for Barrett, a random flat diaper. This is of course my favorite Green Mountain diapers, muslin, randomly. I have some shorts. These are actually shorts that I intentionally keep in the bag because they're kind of in between Calvin and Aaron's size, so either one of them can really wear these. So they're kind of universal here. I have a t-shirt that's like a really big oversized t-shirt that like it's too big for Calvin. And so like I just have it. It was actually something my mom was using to make a costume for Calvin, I think. And so she just gave it to me and nobody really fits into it yet. And so I have it in the diaper bag. You know, <laughs> so like, when I explain why I have these things, I don't even understand my own logic, okay? Here's a diaper. This is a buttons cover with a best bottom medium bamboo insert snapped inside. I have another one of the same situation, another one of the same situation, plus a couple extra inserts. Honestly, these inserts really aren't the best for Barrett. They are just, he like totally saturates them. They're barely enough absorbency for him. But because I don't really like using them around the house, I keep them in the bag just in case I forget to pack like extra diapers and stuff, you know? So I really have like three, four, five changes right here, which, you know, the first couple of months, 
baby could poop and then poop again and then, you know, make a giant pee, you know. You need a lot of diapers on hand when you have a tiny, tiny baby, so I definitely have plenty there. But I think we're gonna switch those out when I go to repack the bag, so just a minute and we'll be repacking the bag. This, these are some shorts for Calvin. I have some snacks, I don't even know, man. I don't, these could be stale. These are the little chocolate, uh, like Teddy Grahams in there, but they were down here in the bottom, so they're probably kind of old. I have a little romper for Barrett. He's probably outgrown that size by now though. And a larger size, just little onesie for Barrett too. Some socks for Barrett, socks for the bigger kids. Socks for the bigger kids, so that's good. At least I have enough socks for everyone. This is a changing pad that my mom made me, which I need to start thinking about whether or not I wanna switch these out. So this is one that my mom made me and I keep a bunch of stuff in here. So it has the PUL on one side and then it's nice and soft on the other side. And inside of here I have a pack of wet disposable wipes. I do like to use wet disposable wipes when we're out of the house. It's just super easy instead of trying to remember to dampen the cloth wipes, which I do have. I have a bunch of cloth wipes in here and this little guy and I just keep keep it open. If I'm at my mom's and I'm, you know, near water and I can just dampen these a little bit when I go to change uh, Barrett's butt, that's totally fine. But when I'm out, like, you know, actually out of the house, I don't, I would probably just reach for these guys instead. Don't know if I really need both of these in the bag. A random pre-fold, mostly just for like cushioning because I just, you know, lay the baby's head on here. So it's kind of a little bit of cushion there, like a little pillow while I'm changing their butt. But also, you know, an emergency diaper insert too if you need it. And then some rash cream. I usually keep a rash cream that's like kind of almost gone so I don't have like a big giant one in the bag because I really don't use it like that much when we're out. So this is just an honest company rash cream which uh, I, that I keep in here that's almost, almost empty. I have another little wet bag down here. And lastly, a little like, I don't know what we call this, like a first aid kind of kit or whatever, but it's not really like first aid. I keep a... A lotion for me I don't I don't really need that you know <laughs> um, it's got like some band-aids a little nail file and like gauze and stuff who why do I have all these things you know alcohol wipes why why <laughs> so yeah that's it that's everything that's in the bag I have a big giant mess here and now I have to decide what I'm gonna actually put back into the bag so okay let's think about this I get a little bit more comfortable here. So let's decide what to do about the changing pads. So I need this butt cream out of this changing pad. So I think I'm just gonna leave that one here. Take the baby boo one. I feel like my lighting is all off. Okay, I just noticed that my lighting was weird and I hope it wasn't weird the whole first half of the video or first three quarters of the video. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna keep the rash cream and I'm gonna keep the um, baby boo changing pad. So we'll, oh, look at that. Look how convenient. I can just put it right in there. So it's all together. And then I'm gonna take the wet wipes just cause that's easier. So I'm gonna toss the um, actual fabric, you know, cloth wipes over there. This is, oh, I don't even know. Is it like a, it's a bum genius. Bum Genius wet bag. It's kind of small, so I'm not gonna take that. I'm gonna keep these Bungies wet bags. I really like these. Let me show you uh, how big they are. They're like bigger than a typical like medium, smallish wet bag. So they're a little bit longer than usual. So they have the front pocket and the big pocket. And plus, isn't this print just stinking gorgeous? My goodness. This like, when I got this in the mail, I was like stunned by how beautiful it was. It's totally beautiful. So I'm gonna keep both of the Bungies wet bags just in case. You know, maybe I should only keep one. Okay, I'm trying to not pack so many things. So, we're just gonna keep the one, okay? I can do this. I can survive with just one wet bag. But I'm gonna keep the, uh, where's that one? The Walmart bag, definitely gonna keep that in the side pocket just in case. Plus it like weighs nothing, so it's like free space. Tissues, panty liners, those are things that I always keep in there anyway. Chapstick. The sunglasses. Um, I will get rid of this other purple pair. We don't need an extra purple pair. Tide pin. 
that's all staying. Don't need to take the toothpaste and toothbrushes <laughs> on our adventure tomorrow. Gotta keep the wallet, of course. Gotta keep the snacks, just in case. Don't need to take the bug spray. Probably don't need to take the sunscreen either because the place we're going tomorrow is not outside. I'll take, I'll keep Bear's hat just because it always stays in the bag. So we'll put that back in there. Um, don't need this little like activity kit. I'm gonna leave, um, I'm going to take a few, I'm gonna take one buttons cover with an insert inside and then two extra inserts just in case. But I'm also going to be bringing different diapers too. These are some of my favorite diapers to take when we're out of the house. These are all-in-ones. I find all-in-ones are super easy to do changes when you're not at home. So I have, this is an under togs. She has an Et Etsy shop and she currently doesn't have anything listed right now, but I did message her and she said that she would still take custom orders. So if you're super into it, um, you might still check it out there, under togs. It's a really nice um, all-in-one. It has two flaps plus a pocket here and it's all cotton. It's just really nice. I love that guy. And then this is um, the Blueberry Simplex Organic, uh, the one size. I really enjoy that one too. So I'm going to be packing for diapers. I'm going to be packing the under togs, the blueberry, and then one buttons cover with three medium best bottom inserts in there. I'm going to take out the random muslin flat. I will keep two of the boys masks though. I think we're gonna keep the two Paw Patrol ones so that they cannot fight over which masks they are choosing from the bunch. So everyone gets Paw Patrol. Okay, I think that's everything from the pile. Oh, hand sanitizer, gonna keep that because that's important. The um, poison ivy wash, we're not gonna need that. I hope we're not going to come across any poison ivy. <laughs> the snacks I need to take downstairs and figure out. Um, I should try one and, and see if they're stale. <laughs> Clothes, I guess for Barrett, I will just take this shirt. I know that he will fit into, so we can put those away. For Calvin and Aaron, I'm going to bring, I'm going to bring pants for Cal, underwear for Cal, underwear for Aaron, those shorts that fit both of them, and then one t-shirt. I wouldn't see why we would need to change anybody's t-shirt, but one t-shirt just in case. Not gonna bring any socks, not worried about that. So for clothes, I have one underwear for Calvin, one pants for Calvin, one underwear for Aaron, one pants for Aaron, and then one shirt that I could put on either one of them if we really, really need to, plus the one little onesie for Bear if we really need that. So let me throw everything back in the bag and we'll see if the bag even looks or feels any lighter than before. All right. Much more reasonably sized, much more reasonably weighted. All right, I feel like I could maybe, let's put this inside of the bag because it's kind of like flipping around all over the place. Don't really need it flopping around everywhere. Why can't I get this off? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna take the strawberry and put it inside of the bag here. And then this, this little clippy dude, I think probably go inside as well. Actually, we'll just leave the puppy dude for a while. Okay, so there, there we go. Still have some stuff in the side pockets, but overall, much, much flatter backpack we have here. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, I'll leave a link down below if I can find it to this. I just bought it on Amazon for, you know, 20 bucks or something. Just a regular old backpack. So, oh my gosh, I can't believe how big this video is. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other kind of content you wanna see here on this channel and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.